Yo, 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 what's up, people? This your boy, P. Rouse, once again, back in the building. Yo, and this is for all my legions of watch enthusiasts out there, okay? We are working with, right now, this beautiful, beautiful Omega Janine reference number 136049 from 1972. The movement number, okay, is 3466647. The materials are stainless steel. The dimensions are 35 millimeters width with 42 millimeter height, 9.75 millimeter thickness. The glass on this, the crystal is plexiglass. The loom, yes, loom is tritium, okay? The movement, the caliber, Omega, manual caliber 613, okay? And it comes on the original Omega bracelet from the time with the 18 millimeter lug width. And it has this dope to no shape case. Again, stainless steel. And timepieces with the to no shape case feature a frame with perfectly straight lines. So strictly speaking, they're rectangular rather than barrel. To know implies that the size of the frames are slightly curved, just like an actual barrel. Now, this is a very, very nice watch. It has very few scratches on the crystal. It has very few scratches on the case. And as you can see, the bracelet has the Omega signature on the clasp. The dial is brushed silver with the plaid indices. Also, we have Omega at the 12 o'clock and Geneve at the 6 o'clock on the dial, all right? Now, as far as the Geneve at the 6 o'clock through Omega, it's perhaps the best known for its sporty Speedmaster or Seamaster lines. The brand has been releasing quietly and without much fanfare, dress watches with textured dials, distinctive enough to catch the eye of any purist. Omega first began applying Geneve to the dials of their dressier watches, 30 millimeter watches in 1953. A watch of that type set records in the Geneva observatory trials in 1953 and the marketing department decided to commemorate the occasion with a bit of a dial flex now when can you ever go wrong with a watch like this you can never go wrong with a watch like this okay it is perfect just the way it is you know what i mean with the original 1068 bracelet okay the watch just looks perfect on and off the wrist. And you know what? I love the Speedmaster. I love the Seamaster Railmaster, okay? But this Omega Geneve, these are highly slept on watches. You know what I mean? And they're affordable, you know? Definitely bang for buck. I just wonder how long it's gonna take for these to actually increase in value. That's what I want to know. You know what I mean? But with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You know what I mean? This is your boy P. Ross. And to all my watch enthusiasts out there, buy what you like and live, laugh, and love. And we about to be up out of here. Peace.